Ding dong. Here we go. Go ahead, uh, Kevin DeFiori. Hi, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? My name is Joe. Hi, Joe. Uh, I'm Kevin with Lifeline Plumbing. Thanks for inviting me to your home today. Thank you for coming out today. I really appreciate that. No problem at all. What inspired you to call us today? We got a problem with the hot water heater. It's not working. The thing's just not keeping up. I don't know what to tell you about the thing, but it's just dead. So uh, just to confirm, um, are we not doing any work today? No, we got to get it fixed. I took off work and everything, Kevin. I have... Uh, I, I, stood, I stayed home and everything today for you. I got to get this thing because I was told that we can get this thing working today. All right. Um, so we just wanted to make sure. What were we looking to accomplish today? I got to get this thing fixed. I, I told my wife I'd get it all fixed today. So we have to get this thing fixed, okay? All righty. So who found the problem today? Um, we had my wife, Julie. She was woke up this morning. <clears throat> she jumped in the shower and she froze. She was cold. Oh, geez. What did she say to that? <coughs> she was pretty upset. She was like, uh, you know, she said that, uh, uh, she said that, uh, of course I, she goes, when you're, when you're, you're not home, you've got to go on a business trip. Uh, so I had to go on this business trip, you know what I'm saying? And then she told me that, yeah, you got to go on a business trip. And of course I have no hot water. She says, it figures you would leave right now. And so she was kind of upset that I had the business trip and everything like that, you know? Oh, geez. What was that like for you, Joe? It was terrible because I, you know, I didn't want to have to leave her here. I mean, I was trying to, you know, make sure she understood that I, you know, I care about her and I don't want to make her feel bad that I didn't care about her. You know what I'm saying? Her. So <clears throat> yet I had a whole, I had a whole day plan. I had my whole, I had my whole thing planned, you know what I'm saying? Her. So how was I, I had to go, I got things I got to do today too, you know? So it was kind of, kind of awful actually from that standpoint, you know? Well, one thing I know for sure is your family's really lucky to have a father like you that's going to take the time out of his day to get this accomplished today. That's so nice of you to say that. Uh, you, you really, you, that's so nice. You, you want a cup of coffee or something like that? That's so nice of you to say that. Yeah, I'd love a cup of coffee, Joe. Yeah. Let me get you a cup of coffee on that. Yeah, that's really nice. But yeah, so I mean, yeah, I got to get this thing fixed here today. My wife is just, I, I mean, I, I, she just, she's just got anxiety because of the whole thanksgiving thing and there's no hot water and she's worried about that you know got it is there any other company you usually use for this kind of thing normally i use uh acme my normal guy he's my normal guy here i uh, he, he, i i've known i've known i've known the guys from acme for a long time actually so i mean i've known them for we use them for a couple different projects around here actually got it well i'm glad you have someone you usually call is there a reason you didn't call them today though uh, I don't want to get into that. It was kind of uh, bad what happened last time they were out here. I wasn't too happy last time, actually, you know. Oh, wow. Off the record, I just don't want to make the same mistake they did. What happened? <clears throat> Off the record, you sure you can keep it quiet on that one? Yeah, I can keep it quiet, Joe. Let me tell you what happened. Last time they were out here, we had a guy named Billy who was here. And he was uh, he worked on the, one of my, my, my sump pump. And uh, Billy was, uh, I thought, I thought, well, he said he's going to work up the bill in the truck out there, right? And so I, I wait, I'm waiting, what's the guy doing out there? So I take, I take my garbage out to the front yard because it was garbage day. And then, you know, Billy's like, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I walked by the, gar but my garbage cans past this truck and I could smell something that smelled like burning oregano, you know what I'm saying? Her? And so listen, I'm, I'm pretty hip. I went to college and stuff like that. So I know you know, what's going on. And he was out there smoking dope inside this truck like that. You believe that? I can't believe that. Did you call a manager? Did you let anybody know? I did. I said, I don't think the guy should be doing drugs on the job. I don't think that was very good. He's like, well, he does have, he said he has glaucoma. I said, glaucoma, that's not for a young person. He's like, there, I was like 25 years old. He can't have glaucoma. He's like, yeah, he says he does. He says medical use. And I'm like, that doesn't even make any sense. So I don't know. I just didn't really appreciate that kind of service. You know what I'm saying? I really don't really go for that yeah. stuff. Were you able to get a hold of a, of an owner or anything? Uh, I was. I was able to get a hold of uh, his boss. And his boss is like, uh, owner said that, well, it's hard to find good plumbers in the state of Illinois. It's like they're, you, know, you got, they got you hot. They're like, they got you hostage, he said. And I said, that's no way to run a business. What the heck kind of a thing? He's feels like he's a hostage. That doesn't make any sense even, you know? Well, are you sure you don't want to try to give him a second chance? 
No, you know what? I, I've had enough of that. That's why I, I called you guys instead. That's why I did call you guys, you know? All right. You sure, Joe? Yeah, I'm done with that. That's why I called you. Uh, so what made you decide to call our company specifically? <clears throat> well, we called, um, it was our neighbor, Ernie Garcia, told me all about you guys. He mentioned you guys. Oh, what did he say about our level of service? He said it was top notch. You guys are the best. He said you're the best company in the entire area there's nobody better than you guys so there's uh he thinks that uh you know he said you call lifeline and one company does everything one company does it all you guys are the best that's awesome did he say anything else about it he said you weren't the cheapest guys but you definitely did the best work that's what he told me well joe i hope it's okay with you if i give him a knock on the door and tell him i thank you for all those kind words you tell him i said hi he's he, lo he loves you guys he thinks you're I mean, he really thinks you're the best. He really loves you guys more than anything. You know? Give him a call and say, tell him I said hi. Yeah, he loves you guys. Uh, uh, also, for saying those nice things about our company. That's so nice of you to say that. Do you want a, uh, you want a glass of water or a cup of coffee or something like that? What do you think? Oh, a glass of water would be great now. Water? That's awesome. Here, get a glass of water. So, where do they find young gentlemen like you? It's really nice that you're so nice like that. And it's like, Take some kind of classes or something like that? No, no. It's just, uh, it all comes natural to me. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Well, you tell your boss, I think you're doing a great job. It's really nice that you come out here. Uh, you take a look at this. Let me know what you find. So what'd you come up with here, uh, Kevin? Something nice and easy? What'd you, what'd you come up with here? Let me look at you, see what you got here. I see this option sheet. I, I redid a little bit for you. See what I did? I cleaned it up, Kevin. Perfect. Thank you. Look at Thank that. That's what it should look like. <laughs> Makes sense. Now it's perfect. Here we go. But Kevin, go ahead. Uh, what you what do you got here? Tell me what's going on here. What'd you find? All right, Joe. I don't like what I'm seeing here. You've got uh -huh. a year old hot water containment system that has uh -huh. a fracture. Um, oh my you've got signs of deterioration and lime throughout the home. Um, Karen has eczema, which is not not good. That could be coming from our water situation, uh -huh. and. Uh, your wife complains about when the kids are taking a shower back to back that you guys are running out of hot water prematurely. Yeah, I know. That's what she said, yeah. Well, is there any way we can fix this stuff? What do you got here to fix it? Anything? Yeah, Joe, I've got premium economy and mid or premium mid range and economy options all put together here for you. Oh, really? Okay, I'm I'm interested in that. I like to see that for sure. Go ahead. Uh, so. The premium option you may not like. It's probably too good. Okay. So the premium option might just be too premium for you, but we've got a couple of options <clears throat> below. Take a look at them. Okay. Either way. Either way, take a look at all of them and choose the one that's. Oh, either way, take a, take a look at all of them and choose the one that's right for you. Okay, I'll do that for sure. All right, tell me about the top one. What's this top one called? What's this one here? Well, Joe, our top option here is the premium plus Joe's no stress, endless, pure, and treated hot water solution. Ooh, tell me about that. That sounds good. Why did you? Why did you end? Why did you do all that stuff? Well, Joe, I wanted to take care of all the issues that I had listed up above here. Um, the endless hot water system is going to be just that. It's going to give you endless hot water, and on top of that, we're going to pair it with a triple treat all-in-one water purification system. It's going to be like bottled water at every fixture. And that's really going to help with some of the deterioration you're seeing around the home and Karen's eczema flare-ups. That's nice. What else does it have? Um, well, it does come with 10 years of warranty and 10 years of service. Um, so you guys would be taken care of for the next 10 years, no issues, while you're out, out on your uh, business meetings. Wow. That sounds really good, Kevin. Um, how much is all this stuff going to cost? It sounds like it's kind of, it sounds like kind of pricey. You see what I'm saying? Well, Joe, this is a this is a premium option. So I mean, this is this would be a comparable price to a new car. A car? Like my Honda minivan? The, it's it's Odyssey, it's like fifty thousand dollars for that thing. Well, Joe, I actually can't do it for that price, but I oh. can do twelve thousand five eighty. Oh my god, you almost scared me. My car is fifty thousand. Jeez. So what do you like about the top option, Joe? I mean, it's got the five-year warrant, 10-year warranty and 10-year service plan. You got the endless hot water. 
So I get, I get a tankless hot water with the triple treat on one purification. That's going to be good for Karen. I like that. What should we do, Jeff? The only thing is my wife, Julie's not here. You see what I'm saying there, Kevin? It's so hard to move forward on her. It's like, I want to get this done before Thanksgiving. I know she'd want it, but I just want to make sure I check in with her. You know what I'm saying there? Of course, Joe. Um, do you have any idea where Julie usually buys in the range of things? Is she more of a premium mid-range or economy buyer? She always goes to the best. Well, Joe, what should we do? Is this competitive? If I shopped around, would I find a cheaper price? Well, Joe, all these prices are custom to you, so they're one of a kind. Okay. I just had to ask. Well, what should we do, Joe? Um, so you expect me to do this today then? Well, Joe, let's just start with removing this premium option here. It's got a lot of extras in it that you might not want. Is there anything else that you might like on the list? Kevin, that's the one I like the most, the 12580 That's my favorite one. Don't take, don't take that away. Stop it. Well, Joe, what should we do? Well, I mean... Can you drop the price at all? Get that 12000 down to 10000 for me? Can you call your manager and see if you can do me a solid? Well, Joe, we could bring it down pretty close to that, but I mean, I'd be giving up the 10-year warranty and 10-year service plan. Would that be something you're interested in? No, I like it exactly the way it is. That's why I like it. I like that. That's the thing that gets my, that's the thing I like the most is you're doing everything for 10 years. That's why I like that part of it. Or what should we do, Joe? If I want that one done, is it going to be a big mess? Like, are you going to clean up? Do I, have to, do I have to get like a dumpster here for the old one or something like that? What, how does that work? Joe, if I said you'd have no mess to deal with at the end of this, what would you do? So you clean up all the mess and everything like that? Yeah, Joe, it would be no problem at all. Did you see those boxes I had downstairs? If I got a pallet and put them down there, would you put those boxes that are in front of the water heater over on the pallet for me? If I... Is that, do I have to pay extra for something like that? I'd pay extra if they need me to. Well, Joe, if I said we could get that done for you, what would we be doing today? I'd just go ahead and do it then. If you move those boxes, you got a deal. Well, one more, one more, what should we do? What should we do, Joe? Let's just do that top one there. Now, don't forget to say, <laughs> Joe, you, Joe, you didn't look at the bottom one even. Are you sure you don't look at the bottom ones? or look? Never even looked at those. Hit me with that. Joe, you never even looked at my lower options. Do you sure don't want to take a look at them? No, that's the one I want right there. That's the one I want. All right, Joe, what should we do? Let's just get it done, Kevin. All right, cash check well, card. Let's use American Express. Can I use American Express? That's why I get points on that one. If I said we could take American Express, could we get this done? Or what should we do? We just get it done then. All right, Joe. All right. What should... Well, Kevin, that is like a thousand percent improvement right there.